Alright, this is a quick review of the HobbyMate HB298T all-in-one camera. So let's see what you get in the box. Uh, you get the camera, of course. You get a lens cap. You get a little battery Y splitter. So you can hook this up to the camera and that would go to the battery and this would go to whatever the flight battery was going to anyway on some of the micro um, builds. And then you get a piece of double-sided uh, foam tape. All right, so this camera uh, supports um, 25 milliwatts or 200 milliwatt output. You can also turn off the power. It's got a little button on here. You can switch from NTSC to PAL. Uh, it's got some uh, OSD uh, functions. Where it has some OSD input and output on here. It's got a microphone. Um, it's got uh, a voltage range of about three volts up to about five and a half volts. And so usually you just power it with one of these little uh, these these little micro batteries, and they just plug right in in here. On 25 milliwatts, it consumes about 280 milliamps, and on 200 milliwatts, it consumes about 550 milliamps. And those are kind of both rated at five volts, and it weighs about 4.7 grams. All right, so you power with one of these little small um, flight batteries here. This is 160 milliamp. And so you can see here it's coming through on the uh, LCD. And um, so you got two little buttons here. Um, this one right here changes the uh, channel and the bands. So you can flip through. That's the the channels are indicated by the green light. So um, you can flip through that. And then if you hold it down for a couple seconds, then you can just flip through the bands, which is on the blue LEDs here. You can also uh, turn on the power. To 25 milliwatts which is what it is now because there's only one LED on here there's two LEDs if you hold this down for greater than 10 seconds then you can switch the power to 25 milliwatts and this other button here you can use to flip the image and change it from NTSC to PAL or vice versa so um, it's got a little dipole antenna I actually prefer these over the clover leaves on small builds because uh, the clovers have a tendency to get all mangled up so um, let me uh, go ahead and put this on my uh, quadcopter and we'll take it out for a test flight and a little test footage.